There are two towns in southwest Ontario, Erin and Bellefontaine. Between them runs a river, the West Credit River. The West Credit is recognized as one of the few remaining pristine, highly valued natural brook trout spawning grounds in southwest Ontario. So what's happening? Erin has proposed a new wastewater treatment plant. This wastewater treatment plant will be sending its effluent down the West Credit River. Where will the effluent be discharged? On the border between Bell Fountain and Erin. The effluent will be going downstream. How will this affect the brook trout, you ask? Above and below the discharge pipe, there are hundreds of beds of spawning brook trout. It's hoped that those upstream of the effluent will survive. However, downstream, outside the borders of Erin, the same cannot apply. Now let's look at the river. How does the river breathe? Let's consider temperature. Variation of temperature is vitally important. Cold water holds more oxygen than warm water. Evening times, the water is cooled. You can see here the difference between daytime highs and nighttime lows. Brook trout need the cooler temperatures to spawn. Recent studies show that climate changes will increase the temperature by 4 degrees over the next 20 years. This is not good news for the brook trout. When the sewage plant opens, one quarter of the natural river will have to absorb warmed, treated effluent both day and night. Consequently, nighttime cooling will not occur. It will be reduced and spawning for the brook trout will be severely affected. Let's go back to our map now and see what's expected in the next 20 years. The wastewater plant will enable Erin's population to expand five times its present level. Growth of Erin will, will produce more road traffic, industrialization and extra surface and storm waters. And where will they go? you can guess, right to the border between Erin and Bellefontaine. In the meanwhile, Erin has increased its projected maximal effluent outflow from 2.2 to 7.2 million litres per day. <laughs>